Hi you guys, my name is Cyan Martin and welcome to my YouTube channel. The other day I got in the mail Reckless, which is the newest released book in the Chestnut Springs series by LZ Silver. So I took it as a sign that this week I should go ahead and start the series. This is just supposed to be a fun small town romance with like cowboys and stuff. So we're going to start off with, well, the first book in the series, which is Flawless. I'm going to start reading and I'll update you guys in a little bit. <music> So I've been reading for a little while now. I am on chapter 12, which is page 141. And so far we have learned about the couple in this book, obviously. Their names are Summer and Rhett. Rhett is a bull rider who ends up getting in a bit of a scandal. So because of that, he loses a really important sponsorship. And now his other sponsors are kind of looking at him, keeping a close eye on him. So his manager decides that he needs a babysitter. Someone to just go make sure that he doesn't have any more scandals and that his reputation kind of stays good that way he won't lose any more sponsorships and maybe get the ones that he lost back. So he ends up sending none other than his daughter, Summer, who just graduated law school and is working for him at his management firm. So Summer is now going to live with Rhett on his family ranch, which is called Wishing Well Ranch. It's, I wouldn't say farm, right? It's not a farm. It's a ranch. Maybe it's a farm? There's a difference, I'm pretty sure. But now she's going to go live with him. They're also traveling together a little bit because of the fact that he travels for bull riding. So she is his babysitter, basically, <laughs> and she's just there to make sure everything goes smoothly for him from this point on out. And he's definitely a grumpy character, and she's not sunshine. She's just... She's just someone who can put up with his grumpiness, pretty much. And so far, we're just kind of seeing that they are definitely attracted to each other. They have these thoughts about each other, but they haven't acted on them at all. And I'm excited to see where it goes. I'm really enjoying it, actually. It's pretty good. I like both of the characters. That's it. The only complaint that I have is that Summer's father keeps warning her, like, to not get involved with Rhett and there are like these text messages at the beginning of every chapter I'm pretty sure and literally her father has said multiple times to keep her hands off Rhett but he's more or less saying like is Rhett keeping it in his pants and it's just like fathers or parents in general should not care about their children's sex lives maybe because, I mean, he texted her multiple times saying something along those lines. It's just weird, but what do I know? But yeah, that's all I have to say. I literally have no plans for today, so I'm just going to keep reading and see how far we can get into this. Okay, so it's a lot later in the day. I have dinner plans in a little bit, so I thought I would just update you guys before I go. But I am on chapter 26, page 319. And so far, we have seen Rhett and Summer's relationship develop. They are together at this point. We also learn a little bit more about Summer's past. She has some family issues that she's going through, as well as issues with an ex that she had. We also see that Rhett is facing some difficulties with his career, what he wants to do with his future, and also an injury. So, it's so good so far. I see them developing more of an emotional connection and not just an attraction to each other and I like it. It's a really good, fun read. That's really all I have to say. There's still a good bit left, so I'm assuming something's gonna happen, but I'm gonna go to dinner, and then hopefully I can read more when I get back, and maybe even finish it tonight. We will see. So it's the next day, and I did end up finishing Flawless last night. Overall, the book was really good. I liked the characters. I loved the romance. There was a third act breakup, but it was a reasonable breakup. There was groveling, and then they do get there happily ever after, and I liked it a lot. It was a really fast-paced, fun read. The way she writes, it just flows so easily, and her characters are amazing. I love their personalities. I love that there's a lot of funny moments in this book. For me, I love when a romance isn't so 
serious. I like a, a rom com -y type of vibe. And this was just fun. And I liked it. But I am going to wait until the end of the video and do a bit of a wrap up to decide on my ratings because I want to sit on them and not just give one right after. So now we're going to start the second book. Let me go get it. <laughs> now we're going to start Heartless. And this is... This is a single dad romance, and I'm pretty sure that she's going to be his nanny. So it's going to be a good time. I'm pretty excited. It is later in the day because I had a lot to do this morning. So hopefully I can just literally sit down and read for the rest of the night and hopefully get through a good chunk of this. If not, maybe even finish it because I am capable of sitting down in one spot for six hours and finishing a book. So let's see where this goes. <laughs> So it's a little while later. I am on chapter 13, which is page 155. And so this book is about Willa, who is Summer's best friend from the first book, and Cade, who is Rhett's older brother from the first book. Cade is a bit of a grumpy dad, and Willa is definitely more of a younger, fun, outgoing type of character. Cade needs a babysitter for his younger son over the summer named Luke and Willow comes to town and what do you know? She becomes the nanny. While she's nannying she moves into Cade's house as a live-in nanny for his son just for the summertime and so far it's really good. You can tell that Willa is kind of coming on strong to Cade but Cade even though he's attracted to her he has this mentality of she's a lot younger, she's a nanny. Plus it's pretty responsible of him. He can't just go around inviting women into his life when he has a kid but I really do love Willow's character so far I know it's only the second book but she is by far my favorite character she's just so funny and it's also just really fun to see their dynamic because he's a single dad he's always just been kind of a serious person and Willa is kind of like a breath of fresh air that he needs kind of a reminder to let go every once in a while and have fun also the kid in this book Luke is not annoying at all which is so nice so I'm having such a great time I'm literally so excited to keep reading and I don't want to put this book down so far so I'm going to keep reading and once again I'll update you guys later. Okay guys, so last night I stayed up pretty late because I had to finish Heartless. I literally could not put this book down. It was so fantastic. Willa is just a great character. She is my favorite. I love her and I love this book. So freaking good. It's just a light, fluffy, so funny. Like a lot funnier than the characters in the first book. The carrot scene in this book, if you've read it, it's definitely not what you're thinking. And I enjoyed every second of this book. I don't know what she put in between these pages, but if I could, I would have snorted it. It was so good. So some of the things that really made this great, like I said, was the humor, the fact that the kid was not annoying, and that Willa, she took this job to spend the summertime close to her friend Summer and for a new experience because her old job was being renovated or something like that so there was no work basically for the summer. The point is she didn't take this job just to get in Cade's pants because sometimes that's kind of how books can come off when you're reading a single dad romance but she took this job for other reasons and happened to fall in love with Cade along the way. You also see her and Luke fall in love in like a motherly son kind of way and it was just so cute. Cade is such a grump but he has the biggest soft spot for his son and for Willa and I I loved it so much. I don't know if Elsie Silver can top this at all. It was just so good to me but with that out of the way now we are finally going to start 
third book in the series, which is Powerless. And I'm pretty sure this is Jasper's book. So we shall see. I don't know who the girl is going to be in this book, but we'll figure it out along the way. a good while later I am on page 141 chapter 11 and so far I'm not vibing with this book I don't know what it is it's not a bad book at all it's just not my favorite I feel like the book started out good you got to see some of the other characters which I loved and the very beginning was kind of like wow this is happening I liked it a lot so this book is about Jasper and Sloane something traumatic happened to Jasper in his childhood so the Eaton family basically adopted him and so he is seen as a brother to both Cade and Rhett from the other books and then the female main character is Sloane. She is actually the Eaton's real cousin. So her and Jasper have been childhood friends for a very long time, but they're not actually related, which sometimes that trope can bother me, but I feel like in this book it's not a big deal. Personally, doesn't really affect me. But right now, Sloan is basically running away from something that happened in her life. So she is staying with Jasper and they are going back and forth from his place to the ranch and it's because something else has happened in the story with the Eaton family so that's why they're going back and forth and so far it feels like a little bit heavier some of the topics that are going on in this book so I'm not the biggest fan of that it's not as funny as the other books the characters I don't really care as much about obviously don't know that much about them because I'm only 141 pages in. But anyways, as of right now, they are about to go on a road trip together to drop off some hay for Harvey's daughter. So yeah, I'm assuming there's going to be some forced proximity on this road trip. Maybe the one bed trope eventually, and I do like that trope. So we'll see what's gonna happen, and hopefully it starts getting a little bit more interesting for me. I am... Um, page 401 which is chapter 32 of powerless and i just have to say that i still don't think i like these characters that much i feel like they were just strangers like we knew a little bit about jasper from the other books but he was kind of a mysterious character but we didn't really know anything about sloan she was just kind of briefly briefly mentioned in the other books so it just feels almost disconnected from the rest of the book it doesn't feel like the found family is as strong as it was in the other books and I just could honestly kind of care less about these two ending up together which is a little bit harsh because I think it's a good book it's not awful I don't mind it. I like it. Just not as much as the other books. I think it, it's just I don't feel connected with the characters as much as I do the other books. So it's not bad. Just not my favorite. But I'm going to finish it off so that we can start the last one of this vlog. <laughs> Pick a spot, bud. Last night, I did end up finishing Powerless, and then I just really didn't feel like reading anymore after that, so it didn't put me in a slump or anything like that. It's just, I didn't really 
care that much for these characters at all. Towards the end, I could pretty much guess where the story was going and it just fell flat for me. But it's definitely not a bad book. It just, like I keep saying, is not my favorite couple. So, this morning I did go ahead and start reading Reckless. I only got to page... Where's my bookmark? Did I lose my bookmark? Hello? No, okay. I am on chapter 6, which is page 75, and this story is about Winter and Theo, which Winter is Summer's sister from the first book, and Theo is a bull rider who Rhett from the first book pretty much coaches. They don't start off on the best foot, but I love Theo. He is so funny and sarcastic. Literally, when he first meets Winter, she tells Rhett to get his dog, and Theo is barking at her. She said, go get your dog, and he's like, wolf wolf. I love it. Love to see it. It's funny. I'm not gonna lie though, I'm a little bit worried because look at that. <laughs> There's going to be a accidental pregnancy and where I left off they literally just had a one night stand so it's coming in quick. It's gonna be probably the biggest plot point of this book but so far I really love Theo's character and Winter. You kind of are made to not like her in the other books. She's seen as like a cold emotionalist, emotionalist sister and I'm looking forward to see if she has a good bit of character development in this book. I would love to see that happen especially if she's with Theo because Theo is literally, he's like the male version of Willa and we all know I love Willa. So hopefully it turns out good, but I'm going to read in bed for a little bit and I think I'm actually going to read on my Kindle. All of these books are on Kindle Unlimited, so if you want to read them and you have the Kindle Unlimited, go for it. I'm going to pick back up where I left off and talk to you guys later. did end up finishing Reckless last night. I didn't update you guys because I literally, once again, could not put this book down. It was so good. What do you see out the window, bud? I absolutely loved it, which is crazy because normally I don't love a accidental pregnancy trope, but it was so good. If you don't like that trope, read this book anyways. I absolutely loved Winter and Theo's dynamic. Their banter was top tier. They were so good together. So Theo is pretty much known as a ladies man. He's a player and a very flirtatious character. And after they had their one night stand, Winter of course ends up getting pregnant. Something happens to where Theo doesn't know that she's pregnant or almost like a, a, I want to say a year and a half. So he doesn't even know that he has a daughter. It's not either of their faults. The reason why he's not aware or in his daughter's life in the beginning or during Winter's pregnancy. So it's not either of their faults, which I liked because if he just like skipped town and didn't care about having a daughter, I would have never forgiven him. And if Winter would have just not told him, I wouldn't like her character either, but that's not how it went. So I really love the storyline. I love that you get to see Theo grow up, but Winter also has a lot of character development as well, especially when it comes to being more open with the people in her life. Theo was also just so good to Winter and his daughter, and I also like that you get to see them genuinely fall in love with each other. They're not together just because they have a child. They are genuinely in love, and you get to watch it all happen, and it was just so good, which was so surprising. Also, the child is only like a year old, so they're not really talking, playing, doing anything like that, and so she, she's not annoying. <laughs> so I'm finally done with the Chestnut Springs series so far. She is writing more books and I'm super excited to continue once they come out. But now let's go over my final thoughts and opinions on the series and my ratings. First off, we have Flawless. I loved Rhett and Summer. It wasn't anything too emotional. It was just a good fun time. So I gave it four stars. Next up, we have Heartless, which is no doubt probably my favorite one. I loved Willa and Cade's dynamic and just everything about this book. The ending though, wasn't personally my favorite ending for them, but I still love this book so much and I gave it a 4.75. Then we have Powerless, which like I said, it was not about 
bad book. I just personally could not connect to these characters and it just felt so off for me, but I did like it and so I gave it a 3.5. It was okay for me. And then lastly, we have Flawless Reckless. This is called Reckless. This is my second favorite in the series. Such a good story, such a good book. I literally just talked about it. It's crazy though because one of my main complaints about Powerless is how they felt like strangers, but in Reckless, Winter and Theo are also pretty much strangers. You learn a little bit about Winter in the other books, but not much about Theo at all. Yet Elsie Silver still made you somehow just absolutely fall in love with these two characters and really get to know them a lot better than I feel like she did in Powerless, and I loved them so much. So I gave this one a 4.5. And overall, I know that none of these books got a 5 star, but I would definitely still consider it a 5 star series because it's one of those series that I would recommend to any and everyone. And I'm definitely going to be thinking about it for the rest of my life. If you want something that is just a fun, good romance with a lot of good banter, great couples, really great found family, and it's just funny and it will literally have you smiling and giggling like a little idiot <laughs> that's what it did for me so definitely definitely give this series a shot like i said all of them are on kindle unlimited so if you have it definitely worth the read but yeah that is it for this vlog i hope that you guys enjoyed it i had a good time hanging out with you let me know what other videos you want to see and i hope you all have a great rest of your day bye blue say bye okay bye